For us trout bums, the salt was both intimidating and exciting. When a buddy invites us to the Bahamas for a quick three-day trip, we're buying that plane ticket. Made it to the Bahamas, baby. We're here. Bahamas, baby. <laughs> My buddy Barrett Rhymes was born and raised in Vero Beach, Florida. He's been coming to the Bahamas since he was 12 years old. Fish are going to be happy. No wind. It was a long day of travel, but the bonefish were calling our name, so we got our gear unloaded and we're quick to get out. Immediately, it was evident that the Bahamas was full of life. We didn't take the boat five minutes outside the bay without seeing turtles, sharks, and all these super, super happy dolphins. We took a channel inland to shallower water where we'd park the boat, throw on our flat shoes, and get to walking. Alright guys, 12 pound, 12 feet, bunkers per liter, fluorocarbon's a big deal. Oh wow. <laughs> Barry was quick to tell us that it wasn't necessarily about the color or type of fly, but the sink rate of the fly that would be most important. If it had B chain eyes, lead eyes, or if the fly was weightless based off the column or depth that that bonefish was going to be feeding at. So we had to keep that in mind when we were tying on different patterns. I see, look. Oh, there's four of them right here, too. To the left, they're swimming. Oh, yeah. They just, they were spooking, but. <laughs> You still see them, Brad? Oh, yeah, they're they're dipping, but that was a good sign. Those were nice size ones. Yeah. Kind of a light line, but it's kind of nice. It's a long, it's super long taper. She nice. She very nice. Oh, day one started with dolphins and consisted of mainly trudging through mud, bushwhacking, and rock hopping. We were kind of on an exploratory mission this first day, seeing what's going on, kind of understanding where the fish are wanting to be right now, uh, understanding the tide that's absolutely crucial out here. So we started around 11 a.m. almost, kind of 10.30, took all of our rods, got them all set up, and then you know once we finally started walking into the good water, we started to see the tide really, really begin to flush out. And that flushing tide has definitely made a big, big difference in terms of where the fish have been and why. Me. Eat it. Woo! I did not have time for the GoPro, but that's okay. That's sick. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, dude. Oh, sick. That was one of the <laughs> Came right up on you. Woo! Right, <laughs> Don't get better than that. There we go, baby. They might hang out in here. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. Little baby. Beautiful. That tail. Bye, buddy. Perfect. Great one of day. 
Dude, give me some love. Good stuff. Yeah. Barrett was waiting a bit ahead of Joe and I, and you could tell he was getting into some fish. Come on, eat it. Oh, that's a pig. It's eight pounder, boys. Oh. Dude, hey, there's two more massive ones going that way. Oh my God. Dude, the one that denied my fly before this guy ate it was huge. Holy smoke, son. <laughs> That's a giant. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's getting worked. We got a fish. Dude, we cool. had to work for that one. Barrett fed that giant bone fish. That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. We were a little bit behind and he just was trudging like a horse and found a stud never seen a bonefish that big glad you guys could see it and let's go see what the rest of the day has in store Thanks to Barrett, every night we ate like kings. He would spearfish food, get us a bunch of conch, and cook it all up when we got done fishing back at the house. I understand. Barry's on its way over. Maybe it's taking a stop, but this is quite the operation. It's super interesting. You got to take a golf cart to your place, the golf cart back here to the harbor, go take a ferry across, get the boat, bring the boat back. Makes it all a little more fun and interesting. So um, that's what we're up to right now. Starting day two off really strong though. Vibes are up, feeling good. Incoming tide here at one, so. We're super stoked, hopefully it's good. I mean, you guys are gonna see it. We're excited for it though. As we headed out on day two, we didn't have an exact location in mind. We checked out a unique sandy island in a whole different location than where we'd spent our time on the first day. Really simple, fly project tie there. Um, super stoked about this bug. I think it's the right, I think it's the right bug. I don't think they're gonna deny it if we can get one that's not spooked. What's that there? Looks like bones. You don't know. Okay. Of course, I got separated from Bradley. Now I'm running with a rod because there's a big school of fish and nobody's casted at them and they're just chilling. Fingers crossed they're still there. Here they are, here they are, they're coming at me.
Come on. Eat it. Eat it. Got him. Woo! Yeah! Oh! No! Get over here! No! Celebrated too soon. Pretty good at that. Oh my God, Hermit. Six of them. Six permit. Stay right there. Huge mutton, six permit. All over this other side of this wood here. Bring your fly, Brad. Come here. What in the world? That one just followed me another 10, 15 feet. They're not eating it. Where's your flies? In there and some up here. Okay. Where do they go? You can see them under the water. See the black yeah, tails? Those are them. Can I make a path now? No. Wait till you can see them. But what's on the other side? Now we can cast at them. Where'd they go? Oh, I see them. See them right there to 12 o'clock with me? Moving left. Right here. They spook? They don't go out. They just turn right back around and go back in there. Every time. Got him. Permit on. Yo. 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 Yes, it's a baby. Are you We're rolling. Yeah. It's a baby, but it's my first. We'll take it. Woo! No, we come for it. Oh my gosh. He's going to take me in that wood. Come on, please get out, fish. You want to get in there? Please get out. Get in there. He's rubbing. Oh, he can grab his tail. He's still on there. Eight pound flora. Where? Where? He's right there. He's out. He's right there. There you go. That's good, that's good, that's good. Keep him away. Whoo! He's a baby. No, 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 no. Me, me. Right, order. Where's he at? Do I just lean him? Have to go for his tail. Goes easy, eight pound. Easy, eight pound. Gosh, she's so far in there. Yeah, yeah, he's so stuck. You gotta grab him. Yo, yo. Yeah! <laughs> you got him? You got him? <laughs> Woo! We got him, baby! <laughs> High five! <laughs> You're probably buddy. Wow! Hey there! Behemoth! Permit! Woo! Yeah! 
After three fly changes, he ate a little orange shrimp by Umqua. Dude, I caught a permit. I'm more ecstatic, honestly, even though I don't care about the size. Dude, way to grab him. Good job. That was crazy. Oh, dude. He went in there thick. He oh, was not, like that eight, last I, spot, he was not dude, coming out of that I hole. had eight pound floral, that pink floral. Yeah, pink floral, eight pound, that's so I have no, shot. it should have broke. We're gonna go chillax and celebrate. Look at this. We are about to swim to this bar. Celebrate. Enjoy. Celebrate a permit, baby. A permit. Let's go. Get in there. See you in there, brother. isn't more evident of how day two is gone. It's hard on our bodies, man. Us Idaho boys are not used to the sun and we're a little beat. It was a super sick incoming tide session on a flat that we weren't expecting to fish. We just kind of pulled off on it. We're hoping to hang out there for a few. Barrett said, go give it away and see what's up. Then we saw bonefish, permit, endless amount of wildlife, cuda sharks, and I caught my first permit, which is so cool. Got some grouper appetizers, Bradley's first ever. Obviously, they're in his belly and he's a little nappy now, but the boys are just going for one last swim. We'll do a barbecue and go to bed early, planning for a big fishing day tomorrow. So, stay tuned, guys. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to the third and final day here in the Bahamas. We're just cooking up some breakfast right now and we're gonna get out there on 8.30, try and fish a very, very strong outgoing tide. Should be a, yet yeah, another beautiful day. It's very, very, very lucky of us to come on these three days and get such perfect weather in the Caribbean. I mean, anywhere in the Caribbean, you're very, very typical to have at least half of your trip could be all bad weather, but we've been very blessed. Bright, sunny days, very, very, very minimal cloud cover and not too much wind, so. We are very, very stoked to get after it today. You guys come along for the ride. Let's do it. Welcome to it. Hey, another belly. I don't think you guys are ready for this. Joe, are they ready for this? No. Oh, get ready for some sauce. Sauce. Bonefish tails coming in. Day three!
día. When fishing for schools of bonefish, if you're sneaky, you can absolutely pick multiple fish out of that same school. Come on. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh. Barrett was into some fish, so he called us to head over his direction. And as soon as I turned around, three big bones and a smaller one were on my heels. With a quickly timed leader length cast, I picked off the smaller one of the group. Started walking back this way, and because Joe's like, oh, Barrett's on fish, Barrett's on fish. So I turn around, literally five feet behind me, there's three giant bones and one small one. And they're like circling behind me and in my milk, like in my mud trail, basically. So I'm like, oh crap. So I got to try to get the GoPro turn on, turn around, just flick it out there. And the second it hit the water, the small fish ran over, took it, trout set, and there we go. <laughs> Yo! Yes, but it's trimmed down. Okay. <sighs> Not even. It was like belly button deep when we jumped in this water. Okay, are you ready? I'm gonna go right here, shallow. Right? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Still going. Oh, we oh, are off the bottom for a second. Get some speed. Turn right. Let's grab a burger. It's dumping rain. Not the evening conditions we hoped for. Can't see the bony. After the storm had passed, we'd give one more spot a try on the tail end of the incoming tide. Our visibility was limited, but we were satisfied if we could sneak in just one more shot on a fish. Out of here, you got shark. And that's a little more of a typical <sighs> point shot. Obviously, it's the afternoon high tide. We yeah. just missed it. We were waiting on the storm. Yeah, the storm just didn't give us... The storm was happening during the best part of the income. If this was all, like, you know, shin deep and it was p rushing in... Rushing in, it would have been a different story. Completely different story. All right, let's get back to the boys at the boat. We made it to the last day, day three here in the Bahamas. Thank you all so much for watching this video. The gear did phenomenal. Barrett showed us everything we could have possibly wanted to see. And then more. And more. Yes. Bonefish were caught, permit were caught. We speared fish, ate incredible meals here at the rental. And now we get to sit back and enjoy an incredible Bahamian sunset. What a special trip. This was my second time in the salt. Joe's been in it a couple times, um, so this is 
amazingly eye-opening for me. The Fly Project says it best. Good luck and safe travels to you all. We got a plane to catch tomorrow. Catch you on the next Woo! video. We'll see ya.